Good morning. This is Tuesday, February 15th. I'd like to begin by thanking my wife for stepping in and doing Valentine's Day. She did a wonderful job, so thank you, Miss Ann. And today's devotion is, Am I My Brother's Keeper? This is Romans 14. None of us live lives to himself. Has it ever dawned on you that you are responsible spiritually to God for other people? That's a very important question. For instance, if we allow any turning away from God in our private lives, everyone around us can suffer. We sit together in heavenly places, that's Ephesians 2.6. And if one member suffers, all the members will suffer with them. That's 1 Corinthians. If you allow physical selfishness, mental carelessness, or moral insensitivity, or spiritual weakness to happen in your lives, everyone in contact with you will suffer. As I, as I read that, I want you to think of all the televangelists that have allowed these things into their lives over the past 20, 30 years and how badly they affected the lives of everybody in their fellowship. But you ask, who is sufficient to be able to live up to such a lofty standard? Our sufficiency to do that is from God and God alone. That's 2 Corinthians 3. You shall be my witnesses to me. That's Acts 1.8. How many of us are willing to spend every bit of our nervous, mental, moral, and spiritual energy for Jesus Christ. That is what it means when God asks us, and he uses that word, to be his witness. But it takes time to be that witness, so be patient with yourself. Why has God left us here on earth? And that's John 17. It is simply to be saved and sanctified? No. It's to be at work in his service for him. Am I willing to be broken bread and poured out wine for God? Am I willing to be of no value to the cosmos around me, or this life in particular, except for one purpose and one alone, and that's to be used to disciple men and women to the Lord Jesus Christ? Who have you talked to, who have you spoken to in this new year about Jesus Christ? My life of service to God is the way I say thank you to him. In other words, when you work for God, you're saying thank you for the inexpressible, wonderful gift of salvation. Remember, it is quite possible for God to set any of us aside if we refuse to be of service to him. Lest when I have preached to others, this is 1 Corinthians, I myself should become disqualified. The challenge I have for us today is, uh, though we may be patient as we grow, we need to be. Are we indeed seeking to grow? As we're being patient with ourselves, are we indeed, as we're being patient with ourselves, really honestly seeking to grow, or... Are we spiritually satisfied with just being patient with ourselves? That's a trap within itself. Nice to hear people say it all the time, well, God will open the door. God will open the door. Well, that's true, he will. But you know what? He expects us to rattle some doorknobs. So are we very comfortable with just being patient with ourselves? Or are we really truly seeking to grow? Let's pray. Father, I thank you for uh, this gift of your spirit within us to be patient with ourselves as we grow. But... Let us not stay there. It's nice to hit those plateaus where we can camp out and rest a while. But, Lord, there comes a time we've got to roll up the tent and get hiking again. So, Father, let us be bold and be brave and really seek to grow in you. Let us not be satisfied with just being patient with ourselves and falling asleep. We love you, Lord, and we give you this day. In Christ's name, amen. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.